figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On second down, here's Barkley. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Here's Manning to throw. And Ingram holds it in. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Throwing on first down is Manning. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. David Irving in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Now Manning, under pressure again, and down he goes again. David Irving, he's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. Third and long for the Giants, and Eli following the sack. From the gun, it's Manning. This is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Now Saquon Barkley, and he takes it into the end zone for a giant TD. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. Aldrick Rosas on for the extra point. PAT up and good by Rosas. And it's now a 7 0 game. Rosas now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now here come the Cowboys. And as these guys interplay in Week 17, we know one thing. They are playoff bound, but they want to win that division title. They told us that is a goal that's been posted in their locker room since day one. They've got the chance to control their own destiny. And there's nothing more powerful than saying that you won the division because I know from building a team, when I talk with all the GMs and the player personnel directors, they always talk about to get to the playoffs in the NFL, you have to have a team that's constructed to win your division. Beat those teams first. That's your number one path to getting there, and they can get that done in this game. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Looking and finding Alan Hearns. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Dak finding the former Jag Hearns for the Dallas first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Drops it underneath, Dalian. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it's a second down. How about that shuffle pass? Or if you want to call it the shovel pass, that's fine, too. That's one of those plays that you take a little bit of risk there because you're trying to throw the ball into the middle of the field where a lot of big bodies lurk, and they can knock it away, pick it off, but they were able to execute it successfully on that play. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Prescott. It's caught right side. It turns. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Prescott yet again. And this one is incomplete. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. And that'll bring up second down. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. On second down, Elliott. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. A first down carry by Elliott. Evades him at the 20. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point up and good by Bailey. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And the magnitude of this game, everybody knows it. The fans, obviously, the players and coaches, there's just with them a palpable buzz right now. They know they control their own destiny. Win and you're in. And I think every player wants that. I think every coach wants that. I haven't been in an organization yet that wants to be in a game 
where they have to rely on other teams to get them to, to their goals. In this situation, it's very cut and dry. Win and you're in the playoffs. That's their mission. That's their challenge. And you know they've chosen to accept it. And what they told us is this has been the most focused week of practice we've had all year. You wouldn't expect any different. Yeah, and you know, at the beginning of the season, you have multiple goals. They just have one now. Win the game. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Stewart on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They go back to Stewart on first. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. It's Barkley on the counter, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Working from the gun, Manning. He finds Beckham complete. 23 yards on the play. Well, that's the kickstarter right there. Eli Manning finding his guy, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, it's a deadly combination, isn't it? It really is, but what really makes it work is just how unflappable Eli is with his demeanor, able to maintain his calm and his poise, because we know OBJ, he can run pretty hot and get excited out there. Sometimes just one-handed grabs for him. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> just throw it up there. He'll go get it. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. A handoff to Barkley, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Chidabe Awuzie. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No game. Throwing his Manning on third down. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Odell Beckham with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Giants are in for six. Rosas now to add the PAT. Rosas good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Rosas now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the 8. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Even though they might not find the number one seed next to their name come playoff time, there's not going to be very many teams, if any, entering the playoffs on the kind of run they're on. They're hot. And I love that word, hot, because every team in the league wants to go into the playoffs on that uptick. 
because a lot of the time you serve notice to the rest of the league that, hey, we're the team you need to deal with. You're, we're the team that's going to be a real problem for you. And if they can continue this streak, they could very well be that team and gain that confidence that they're seeking as they head to the playoffs. And confidence, that's the word I would use from our meetings with them. They said we're playing our best football right now. It is showing. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Third and short yardage. Prescott. He's got the hook up to Lee. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. They go play action here on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now Prescott rolling to his right. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. to play here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Prescott down. Over the middle, the connection to Hearns. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter is starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Prescott now on second down. Lee's got it over the middle. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Here's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Lee. A yeah, great effort there to shed the contact. And it helps him pick up the first. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Prescott now 10 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. He's to the 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Ouch, could have been a game-tying touchdown. He'll have to hold on that at least for now. Ouch in a big way, like ripping the Band-Aid off there. Can they let the sting subside and come back and get it done? Right. 
After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, Prescott completes it to Hearns. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Here's Prescott in the heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off William Gay, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Manning throwing on second down. Over the middle to back him. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Giants on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Manning. Blitz coming and down he goes. That has to be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. Let's see if they can get the latter 50%. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but 
There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. A second down throw for Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again to Elliott. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And he rips that one incomplete there. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. I think someone's going to get him the QB 1 0 when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. Get out, get out. On third down, it's Prescott. Over the middle, complete. That's Lee. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because it nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. The give is to Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And he'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jeff Swaim, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good, and we are tied at 14. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now out come the Giants. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a loss of eight there on the first down play. Manning the throw on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and that takes us from second to third down. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver, and on that play, it was batted down.
The Giants on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. From the gun, it's Manning. Looking for Shepard deep. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's Beasley. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. going to be met at about the 43. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Throwing. Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Prescott from the gun on third. Steps away to his left. And he finds a man with a crossing route. A very solid gain of 27. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. This is Elliott. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It'll be a loss of one, and they'll be facing a third and 12. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Prescott to throw it. Dancing to his left. And this is caught at the end. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. And there was absolutely zero pressure on the quarterback on that play. Third down, and he has all the time in the world to eventually find an open receiver for a first down pickup. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. All square, 14 apiece to score as we get ready for the fourth quarter. They come out here in the eye. He's going to get it running right. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Oh, how about this? No good. Just his second miss of the year. And our score will stay right where it is. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. 
And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And New York set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him. And that is sack number 15 for him on the year. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. They're back now to the original line of scrimmage thanks to that eight-yard gain. Third down now to follow. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On first and ten, here's Manning. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Manning now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get three down of the 34-yard line. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Manning now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Manning. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Manning the throw once more. 
That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And Rosas puts this one through. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. To throw is Prescott. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And we have reached the two-minute warning. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. That's a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Manning able to find OBJ there for a Giants first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll look to throw. And this is Shepard on the catch. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Four, four 
He'll look to throw. Caught left side. It's Beckham. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. He's back to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Inside of a minute to go now. Two timeouts left. Still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. Throw left side complete. It's Shepard. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Shepard. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and five. Back to throw. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Well, sometimes when you try to defend OBJ, you're going to get a P.I. call. You might get a P.I. call at just about any point during his route. And I think a lot of teams have taken the, the whole philosophy of, hey, just go ahead and do what you have to do and hope eventually they'll quit calling it. But not in this case. They dropped the flag for the pass interference. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Six seconds now. Five seconds. He'll get it up the middle. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down. But I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Roses to add the extra point. PAT up and good by Rosas. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a cup from behind victory. Rosas now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They have time here, partner, for just one final heave. And I have to look at from the defense's perspective here. We know what they're going to do on offense. The Hail Mary, try and get guys down there and throw it in the end zone, tip it around and catch it. You've got to have guys back there to defend that. But also, you can't allow the quarterback as much time as he wants to set up and throw it. Maybe you bring a little extra pressure to make sure he gets rid of it quicker. A little bit of a cat and mouse game. We'll see if they bring that pressure. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Giants, they will indeed finish over 500 at 9 and 7. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better than average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they dropped their seventh game on the year.
And as division champs, they will host a playoff game next week in the wild card round. I'm Brandon Gauden. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.